Oh, oh, look it. Look it, look it, look it. Jerry's got food. Jerry's got food. You want to eat, buddy? You want to have some food? Ow. Snake bites are going to happen. It's all part of keeping snakes. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. I just wanted to give you guys a little look at Pickles here. A few people have been asking recently, like, what's going on with Pickles? You can see she is looking absolutely incredible. Ooh, she took a little shot there. That's okay, Pickles, you're all right. Well, today is actually a feed day. I don't know if Pickles is gonna eat, but I know a lot of other things are gonna eat here. And then later on, my buddy Greg the Pond Guy and Paul Cafaro, you guys probably know them, are coming in for a visit, not only to visit at the Reptarium, but also BHB. So it's gonna be an absolutely epic day. What do you say we go ahead and get started and feed some reptile? First up, and the very first time that we're actually feeding the white lip or D'Albert's python here at the zoo. Not sure exactly how it's gonna eat, so we're just gonna go ahead and see what happens here. Come on, bud. Come on, oh, jeez. That one ate pretty good. <laughs> no problem with that one feeding at all. Oh my God, what an amazing snake. Moving on to another super iridescent animal, Night Fury. Oh my God, I love this snake so much. There you go, Night Fury, guess what? Go ahead. There you go. Whoo, dog it. What a gorgeous snake. Of course, Mr. Crackle, the black-headed python, is always pretty excited about eating. There you go, Crackle. There you go, bud. There you go, buddy. Peaches, the hypo hunter and milk snake, is such a gorgeous snake, and I think that she's ready for a meal. You ready, bud? she goes. <laughs> she was a little bit of a weirdo today, uh, but she took it no problem. You guys know I'm not going to have a feed day here at the Reptarium and not feed Ben and Jerry because I love feeding Ben and Jerry. Let's see if these two little monkeys want to eat today. You guys want to eat, buds? Oh, oh, oh. There it goes. Oh, it's been a monster. Oh, oh, look it. Look it, look it, look it. Jerry's got food. Jerry's got food. Oh my God, they both have it. Oh, one time, Jerry dropped it. That was, that was absolutely crazy. Jerry grabbed the food before Ben, but then Jerry dropped it when Ben took it. What the heck, that was crazy. Right now, guys, this is really crazy, literally. Ben dropped the mouse. Jerry has been kind of chewing at it. Ben has been trying to chew at it. I'm not exactly sure who's going to end up eating this mouse, if they're going to eat it at all. This is truly, I've never seen anything like it. Oh, Ben just took it. Ben, and then he let it go. It's crazy. I've never seen this. This is so amazing. So in the end, Ben ended up winning the battle, and Ben actually is eating now. Oh my gosh, that was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. That was so awesome. Verde, the green anaconda, definitely is gonna eat today, but as you guys know, it eats live chicks, and I don't ever show live feeding, so I will show her in the process of eating, but uh, the first part, I don't show for you guys. So we'll go ahead, take care of Verde, and hopefully get a cool shot of her at least eating. And it certainly didn't take long Verde to go ahead and start feeding, so uh, I always feel so bad. I literally have to walk away. I can't even watch it, but uh, listen, I love my girl Verde. She needs to eat. This is all she wants to eat right now, so I'm gonna give her it until she decides to switch over to Frozen. Let's see if the pastel pied wants to eat. I'm actually offering her a small rat for the first time. She typically eats mice. Let's see if she likes it. Oh yeah. Bam.
Now feeding day over at the Reptarium is awesome. Listen, I don't like feeding animals to animals. I've said that a million times in my vlog, but I do really get excited about the fact that these animals are eating and thriving and doing well. Not to mention, I do think it's really fascinating to see snakes eat. I mean, I've always been fascinated by it. But again, the only downside is the fact that they are feeding on other animals. Like I said, everything else eats frozen with the exception of Virda that needed live today. But regardless, it's pretty awesome. And Abasuku definitely wishes it could get food, but it's a little bit on a diet. I've been feeding it a little bit, and mainly stuff like chicken. So I have been trying to stay away from like the whole rodents and stuff like that because there's so much fat in them. So Abasuku, I'm sorry, but you don't get any today. But my girl Perdita, she certainly is gonna get some food and it looks like she's really ready. Look at this. Come on, girl. It's okay, sweetheart. There you go. That's a girl. Way to go, Bernita. Oh my God. She is so gorgeous. I always say that Sunfire is one of the funnest snakes to feed because she's always way back in that back corner and you can see she's already coming down. You want some, girl? Come on, come on, you can smell it. Come on, girl. Come on, come on, you can get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is. Woo, doggy. <laughs> she's just coming out of shed and she's still ferocious. Oh my God, that's such a cool snake. And I hope you guys don't get bored of seeing us feed over here. You know, I never want to do things so repetitively where it's like, oh, I don't want to watch that. It's I've seen it a million times. I always try to take a little bit of a different take, not to mention I'm leaving in about 20, 30 minutes to go to the airport to pick up Paul Caffaro, as well as my buddy, Greg, the pond guy. Gonna be the first time they're at the Reptarium. I'm super excited to show them around and have a good time. And both of them have a really good social media outlet. I think Paul closing in on a million subscribers now on YouTube. So you guys know, I always like to expose audiences to other people's audiences. So it's gonna be a great night. So just a handful more snakes to feed and I'm on the road. Next up is my boy Casper. And just as I thought, he is fast becoming one of the most favorite snakes here at the Reptarium. People come in, love handling him. He is so amazing. You wanna eat, buddy? You wanna have some food? Ow. Yep. And that's how quick it happens, people. Oh my gosh, Gasper got me. Fortunately, he got me just on the very tip of my finger. That gives you an idea. Just a love, love lip like that, and that's how hard they are. I mean, if he would have railed me, oh my gosh. But hey, listen, he's got a feed, so let's go ahead and just feed him up. Come on, Casper. Come on, buddy. Oh, there you go, good boy. <laughs> No harm, no foul. That's just part of snake breeding right there. Casper didn't mean it, I promise you. He is an absolutely amazing animal. He just smelled that food and he just went for it, you know? And that happened. So, hey, snake bites are gonna happen. It's all part of keeping snakes. Uh, no big deal. Hey, I'm gonna go wash myself up and move on to the next. And literally, when it comes to snake bites like that, you know, the snake didn't mean it. It's no big deal. Snake bites always look way worse. You bleed a lot more. Everything is not that big of a deal. Casper is a super tame animal. Animal. Unbelievably passive. You could take him out for hours. He just smelled a rat. He went for the rat. He missed the rat. Got my finger. No big deal at all. With that being said, the last snake I'm going to feed before I go pick up Greg and Paul Caffaro is Sunrise. Hey, sweetheart. And she is ready to eat. Here you go, sweetie. There you go. Whoa! She ate that bad. Oh my gosh, she just came out of shed and she was hungry. Just wrapping up the feeding here. Gonna head out to the airport, pick Paul Caffaro and my buddy Greg the Pond Guy up and uh, come back and have some fun at the Reptarium. It's just like Vegas here in Detroit. Hey, what's up, brother? How are you, man? How are you? Oh, what's up, bro? Man, what's going on, dude? How are you guys? Good to see you, man. We're, we're hungry. We're ready to go eat. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. We're here, All finally! Right. Go, and there's Bowser right here. <laughs> Oh, what's up, brother? Dude, this is so sick. <laughs> I know. Welcome to my it's world. It's warm in here. It's I know. It's always sick. summer in here. Yeah, that's right. For those of you guys that don't remember, Greg actually got me Bowser here. So this is, uh, you're the one that yeah. hooked up. Yeah, and, and, you know, like and I like, we built snake. that pond in one day, but I like this one even better. Uh, it's It works out well. It's really good. But I can't wait to show you guys again. Anything you guys want to see, we're going to do. Uh, going to be a really dope video on Paul's channel. I'm going to put a link in the description. He, I told him he could do anything he wants to do here. Of course, I will put Greg's link in the description too. He's definitely one of my mentors, so definitely show both of them a whole bunch of love. But for now, let's have some fun. You guys got to meet my girl, Bella. You can literally, you'll, you'll trip, please. You'll trip by how much she loves people. What the heck? Like, 
Oh, this is the same one that was next door. Yep. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Met her many times. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, Bella. Isn't it amazing? But look at this enclosure, which is top rate, man. Dude, I love how they have so much room. It's so, like, natural. Moving so on up to it, the top. It's so natural. Like, I, I would never, I would live in there. <laughs> well, Brian, I'll catch you later. Well, hey, the, the, the thing that's nice about this is you don't know where you're, it feels so much bigger because you can't see around. Yeah, exactly. That's what I love about so it. What is the most popular attraction that you wouldn't have thought of for people wanting to get, get touch him and be with him and stuff? Yeah, you know, I think that it's a great question. I think that uh, the Frill Dragon may be the most impressive as far as like, you know, not expecting it, yep. you know, but uh, certainly the most popular probably, or at least, but when it comes to snakes, I think the most popular snake that everyone asked for is this girl right here. Uh, this of course is my girl Perdita, who is a cow reticulator. Python. Yeah, you have no idea why well, you call it cheeseburgers for the first time. So that is my girl Perdita. I wonder Aww. why that name we cow. I know, right? It's so weird. This is where the cheese curds came from. Uh, that thing, that thing is so cool. Man. But people love her, but but like I said, Nova definitely, the frilled dragon, is kind of the one that surprised me. People love that animal, and I just didn't really see that coming, to be honest with you. Yeah. But there's a bunch of stuff, like Helen the Noah albino ball python's really extremely popular, as my tegu is really popular, so uh, you guys, him. yeah, oh, you're gonna get a chance to see them. Plus, I've got some food if you wanna feed them. Yeah, for sure. So cool, all right, cool. So we'll let, uh, we'll definitely over on Paul's channel, we're gonna let him feed a few things. I've got some rats for Elvis, we'll let him feed Elvis if he wants. We'll, we'll just have a good time hey, over there but wow, oh yeah this tank, i know i love that, that the thing. water falling down dude this place is unreal uh, thank you so much dude i appreciate it we love it oh yeah yeah you said you wanted to see this one yes the two so, uh, let me pull this one out for you this yeah. thing is so clean looking if you were to cover right here you would have never yep. even known it was the two heads yeah snake. exactly that's what i think it's and that's why i think that ben and jerry have a good chance of living a long long life it's just how amazing they are and they're eating like crazy i mean they're doing super well so uh so it's awesome i'm glad you got a chance to meet them What's up, Ben and Jerry? So which one's Ben and which one's Jerry? Ben is this side, Jerry's that side. And Ben eats, Jerry doesn't. Although today, Jerry almost ate for the very first time, which is really weird. So I don't know, that's starting to see the smiley face on the back. He's gonna eat next video, watch. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> He's coming right in there. Guys, we're gonna have a good time. Still a lot to do here tonight. But again, I'm gonna go ahead and let Paul do all the filming. I'm sure Greg will have some stuff too. Uh, Greg, you seem to be bonding pretty well with Perdita. Well, I am. I don't know if my president will. And of course, I was coming here to get inspired for my own Aqualand Zoo and uh I don't know, it's pretty inspirational, I can tell you that much. That's awesome, yeah, we're definitely, you guys have seen Aquascape before in my vlogs. Uh, there's that back room where he has, actually, Dwight Howard's old tank, right? Yeah, Dwight Howard, and I've got a, I've got a, a Asian water monitor in there. Oh, that's awesome, yeah, so that's the area that he's gonna do a little reptile zoo thing, so I'm definitely gonna help him on whatever we possibly can, because I know that Greg doesn't do anything halfway, so it's gonna be absolutely incredible. But as for now, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog and wish you guys an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching, as always, Always your support means the world to me, and I truly do love you so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button, turn those post notifications on, make sure that you leave a comment down below so I can read about your beautiful faces. Like I mentioned, definitely go show Paul and Greg some love. Be kind to someone today, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.